Hey guys, today I have a lug video for you about the charter and the cable car. So someone asked me to do a review and comparison between these two bags. So for today's video, I'm just gonna go through all the compartments and compare these two bags, show you what fits in one of them and see if everything that fits in one will also fit in the other to see if there is similar capacity in these two bags. I will also show you how they wear on the body and give you my final thoughts about what I like about the bags and what I don't like about the bags. So let's just go ahead and get started with this comparison between the Lug Cable Car and the Lug Charter. So both of these bags are in the vegan leather, super soft bags. And this is the cable car in the wine color. And then this is the charter in the blush pink color. So you can see they have similar sizes. They can both be carried a few different ways. And I'll go into that in just a moment. But first of all, let's just go ahead and go with the front look of these two bags. The charter has that quilting detail on the front, but the cable car does have the quilting on the sides. So you can see the front is smooth, the sides have the basket weave pattern, and the back is also a smooth finish as well, along with the bottom. Now you can see on the bottom that it does not have any kind of feet at the bottom of the cable car. And on the charter, you can see you have this really pretty quilting detail on the front. The sides do not have any kind of quilting, nor does the back. The bottom does have the gunmetal metal feet. So that is a really nice feature of the charter that the cable car does not have. So you can also carry these two bags different ways. So on the charter, you can carry it by these tote straps and these are adjustable. So you can actually take them completely off if you want to. And then they also are adjustable if you want them to be a longer strap or if you want them to be a little bit shorter. So if you were just wanting to carry it by the handles, you could also make this a little bit shorter and that would be more comfortable. But if you wanna put it at the crook of your arm, you would definitely need to have it as long as these can get so that they can go on the crook of your arm like that. So that's a nice feature of the charter is that you can carry on by these handles, but these handles are completely removable. So I will just show you what these look like if you want to remove these. So you can see now what this would look like if you were to just completely take these handles off the front and the back of them to where if you did want to carry this crossbody and you didn't want to have to worry about these handles, then it would be a nicer fit against the body because these don't lay flat. They do kind of stick up. So that is one of the features of this charter that you can carry it by the tote straps. So I just went ahead and put the handles back on so you could see that. So that's the first way that you can carry this is just by the tote straps, put it on the crook of your arm. It also comes with a crossbody strap. This blush pink comes with the camo rose strap. This is a one and a half inch strap, completely adjustable for shoulder bag or for crossbody bag. And this is the same lining that's on the inside of that. And then in the cable car, you can carry it three different ways as a shoulder bag and as a crossbody, but with two different size straps. So the cable car comes with the vegan leather short strap. So you can carry it on the shoulder with the vegan leather that matches the same color of the bag. And that's the most preferred way that I like to carry my cable car. Now I haven't carried the charter at all. I literally just got this. Someone had asked me to do this video and I literally just got this in. So I haven't carried this at all, but I have carried the cable car quite a bit. It also comes with the one and a half inch strap that you can use as a shoulder strap or a crossbody strap. So if you want to do a printed shoulder strap instead of the vegan leather, then you also have that option. Now, when you adjust this as short as it gets, it is a little bit longer than this strap. So you can see the difference in the strap sizes. So if you wanted to use the printed strap, it's that much longer than the vegan leather strap. And then you can also adjust this to be a crossbody strap as well. And again, this is the same kind of lining that's on the inside of the bag. So those are the different ways that you can carry these two bags. So I wanted to just go ahead and do this video like I do most of my comparison videos and I have the cable car completely packed up and I just wanted to show you if everything that would fit in the cable car would also fit in the charter. So as I'm unpacking this, I'll just go ahead and go over all of the organization that is in both of these bags as I'm unpacking this one into the charter. So if you look at the front of them, both of them have the cursive lug logo on the bottom that is in that gunmetal hardware. So let's just go ahead and look at the front of the charter. So the only organization that you have on the front is this magnetic closed cell phone area. And so it does have that soft felt lining and it does pull out, it's not sewn at the bottom, but that is the only organization that you have on the front of the charter. On the front of the cable car, you have quite a bit of organization. So you have this front zipper pocket down here at the bottom. It is gun metal pulls with tonal zippers. It looks like all of the zippers are gonna be tonal on the cable car, except the pulls are gonna be gun metal pulls. Same with the charter, you're just gonna have the tonal zippers with the gun metal pulls. 
So when you look at the front of this bag, you do have this horizontal zip. I'm just gonna kind of lay this down because it's not wanting to stand up without anything in here. So the front of the cable car, you have this zipper area right here. And what I have in there is a notepad and that fits in there. And then I also have the larger size of the seesaws. So both of those fit in this front pocket of the cable car. And instead of me going ahead and transferring this over to this one right now, I wanna kind of show you some of the compartments on the inside before I start to fill that. So I'm just gonna lay this to the side but I will convert it over to the charter in just a moment. So that's your first pocket that you have on the cable car, and it doesn't have any kind of internal organization in here. I'm just gonna show you from the side, you can see how much this will open. Now I have the middle part completely packed up as is the back, and it does kind of bulk out a little bit here. So it does kind of go into this real estate right here. So you don't have your own designated real estate. It kind of shares the pocket that's behind you. So that's something to keep in mind depending on how heavy and how bulky you pack the inside and how full it is, it does kind of come into the front pockets as well. But it is nice to have these sleek pockets on the outside. That is the front pocket. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And then we have another zipper area. And so it also has a built-in wallet area. So I actually have my wallet that's on the inside of that. And look how good that purple looks with the wine and the blush. That's really pretty together. So in this part right here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show you this really well because I've got it packed up, but this is your built-in wallet area. So you have a clear pocket for your driver's license, and then you have two credit card slots below that. So if you can see that, you have that organization right there for your built-in wallet, RFID protected. You also have a key bungee in that front area and I have my AirPods on it because that's where I keep those is on the key bungee. So your key bungee in this one is in that front pocket. The key bungee that is in the charter is on the inside and I will show you that in just a moment. So that is all of the organization that you have in there. And again, this pocket goes all the way down to the bottom. So you kind of have outside stacked pockets here and this pocket has that key bungee and your built-in wallet. Now, I just want to mention this as well. I have the inside of this cable car completely packed and it's a little bit of a tight fit in here. I was able to fit my full size wallet in here, but I can still feel the stuff that I have on the inside of this. So I just wanted to kind of point that out. If you have this packed pretty full and you utilize this wallet, where the credit card slots are is about right here. So if it's really tight, it might be a little bit hard to get into those credit card slots if you do have this packed pretty full like I do. But I always pack them full just to see what all can go in here. And so that's all I have in that front pocket. I'm just making sure, because this has a little bit of a darker lining. You can see this lining, how dark it is. I'm used to the lighter lining, so I can see this organization a little bit better, but I don't feel any more organization in that part right there. So those are your two front pockets that are kind of stacked. And then you have the magnetic clothes area for your cell phone. It's sewn in the bottom, so it's not going to fall out. So there's your differences in the front of the charter and the cable car. The cable car has the magnetic closed cell phone area, as does the charter. And then the cable car has an additional two pockets, zipper horizontal pockets in the front that the charter does not have. And then let's just go ahead and go to the back to show the differences in the back of these two bags. Now, I have an iPad in the back of this cable car, but I did want to mention something. When I put this iPad in here, with its case on it, you can see that it fits from side to side. So it's a tight fit in there, but it does go in there and you can see that it can come out. But when I have that in there with its case, I can't close it. So the magnetic close does not work because the iPad is actually up to that point. So it's the iPad is literally up to the top of this. So this exact back pocket is the size of my iPad with its case in it. So that's something just to kind of give you a little bit of reference on how big this back pocket is. My iPad can fit back there with the case, but it just will not close because it's right there at the close, if that makes sense. So you can see again, that lining, that dark lining that's on the inside. I can't remember what they call it. It's that floral lining with the olive tone on the back. It's a really pretty background, but it's just really hard sometimes to see some of this organization. And it, because this bag is kind of deep down, it is kind of hard to see some of the things on the bottom. I don't want to steer you wrong because this is one of my favorite bags. I love this cable car and I carry it a lot just because I like the sleekness of it. So I am just pointing out a few things. They're not deal breakers for me by any means because I love this bag. It's just something for me to point out for you guys in case it's something that you would want to know if you were going to try to purchase this bag. 
Okay, so that was the back of the cable car and the back of the charter has a zipper. So this is a vertical zip as opposed to all the horizontal zips that you have in this cable car. So this is a really nice zipper. It is a tonal zipper with the gunmetal pulls as well. And it also is fleece lined. So as you can see, this goes all the way over to the other side and all the way down. So this pocket kind of goes up to the top right here as well. It's a really good size pocket. Of course, iPad's not gonna fit but this notepad could fit, but it's felt line, so I don't wanna waste that on a notepad, but that notepad does fit in there if I wanted to put that in there. If you also wanted to put maybe your wallet back there, if you wanted to kind of hide your wallet, you could definitely put it back there as well, it would go, and so would these large seesaw envelopes. They go lengthwise, but it's not going to zip. So no, those won't go. So you can't put this in the back of there, but you could put the smaller one in the back. So those are all the things that could fit back there, but it is felt line. That's just something to keep in mind. I don't have a Kindle to show you if a Kindle would fit in here. I'm not sure exact size of that. I don't know. It might fit in the back here, but because I'm trying to put some stuff in the back to see if everything will fit, I will go ahead and put this notebook back there, but I feel like I'm kind of wasting that felt lining by putting a notebook back there. So we've got all of the different organization that's around the outside of the cable car and the charter. Since the charter is already empty, I'll go ahead and go through the organization a bit. Now, I just wanna show you, when you open up this charter, you can see how big of an opening that it is when you open it up. So you can kind of look and see everything that's in here. You can see all the way down to the bottom and it has that camo rose lining. So it's a nice light lining. So you can be able to see the things in there. So the first thing you have is this key bungee. So the key bungee in the cable car was in that front pocket that was also the RFID shielded pocket. So you have the key bungee on the inside of this. So I will just take my AirPods and go ahead and clip those on to this. All right, and then on the back here, you kind of have some stacked pockets on the back. So you have two stacked pockets on each side. They mirror each other. The top one is felt lined and the one at the bottom is slightly padded. So you have four stacked pockets, two on each side. And then on this one side, like you're seeing in some of the other bags that had the stacked pocket, you have your pen holder slots in between two of the pockets. So between your bottom pocket and your top pocket are two pen holders. I have not unpacked my pens from this bag, so I will pack those in there as soon as I get those out. So here are the two felt lined pockets and then two padded pockets underneath. So two on each side and two pen holder slots in the back of this charter. And then in the middle part, you do have an area for a water bottle. So this one is plastic lined. So kind of like the same lining you have in your trolley, your parasails. It is that kind of lining that's completely wipeable. It's not insulated in this. It just has that wipeable, which I like because if you do happen to spill something in the bottom of this, it's not going to get to the rest of your bag and you can wipe it out. So that is right there. And then if you're not using it, you can push it back and it doesn't get into any of your space on the inside. And then when you go around to the front, this is one thing I noticed that I don't think I like about the charter. And like I said, I just got this earlier today. It literally just came today. And I've already noticed that it has this clear view pocket here, but this is a taller bag. It's not really, I would say it's more north, south and east, west orientation. So your clear view pocket area, the zipper is kind of halfway down. So the clear view pocket goes all the way to the bottom of the bag but it doesn't come all the way to the top. So when I'm opening my bag, the main reason that I like that clear view pocket is I can just open it up and see what all I have in it. So this one's a little bit further down in the bag. So that's just something to take into account if you're looking into this bag, that the clear view pocket is down toward the bottom. So if you have this packed with some stuff in the middle, you're not, you might not actually be able to see what is in that clear view pocket. So that is just something I wanted to mention that I'm not sure if I'm really gonna like about this bag, but uh, I did wanna mention that. So that's your internal organization of the charter. You have your key bungee, you have your clear view pocket, you also have the plastic lined water bottle area, and then you have stacked pockets in the back with two felt lined and two padded with two pin holder slots. So now let's just go ahead and since I've told you all of the organization that's in the charter, let me see what I can fit in there. So I do have my full size wallet. I'm just gonna see if it's just going to fit in the charter and I just want to show you if you do decide to put a full-size wallet just in that middle part it does kind of go deep down so when you open it you can still see it but I don't know if you stack a lot of stuff on there whether you will be able to or not it will fit which this is a regular size wallet it will fit in one of these stacked pockets 
but I do have the stack pockets on the inside of this cable car pack, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get everything packed up in there, but I still do have that back part if I do wanna put my wallet back there. All right, so they have the large envelope that was in the front of the cable car, and I'm just going to slide that in here. It does not fit in those stack pockets, so I'm just going to slide this in here um, vertically and see if that works. And then we have the iPad, which was in the back of the cable car. Again, I'm gonna see if it's gonna fit in here, standing up. And let me see if it'll zip though, if I have that in there. No, it's too tall to zip. So it's not gonna zip over the iPad. So the iPad is not gonna fit. So it fit in the back of the cable car, but it could not close with that magnetic close because the iPad was right behind it but it will not fit in the charter. It's not gonna fit standing up. It won't fit in the back. It will fit, but it won't zip. I mean, it's not gonna zip over top of it. You might tear up your zipper. So the iPad does not fit in the charter, but it will fit in the cable car. So that's everything that I had unpacked so far. So let's go ahead and go into the middle part of the cable car. And what I have is a jib. So I'm just gonna sit this to the side because I would like to kind of sit that on the top of that. And then I also have one of the smaller envelopes and let me just see if this is going to fit in the stacked pocket so i said that i believe that it would fit in the stacked pocket and it does not so i'm just going to have to kind of put that up and down in here as well or this would probably fit in the back if i wanted to put it in this back pocket so a small envelope does fit in that back pocket if you want to put a small seesaw envelope in that also have a bobsled in there and I had the bobsled just sitting on the inside and I'll tell you why I did that. I originally put the bobsled in the felt lined cargo pocket of this cable car, but I couldn't fit anything in the pocket in front of it. So I took it out and just put a regular pair of sunglasses. So I actually have like two pairs of sunglasses, which I normally wouldn't carry, but I just wanted to show you what kind of things would fit in both of these. I just put a regular pair of sunglasses in the felt lined area and it fit a lot better to where I could fit something in front of that. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. When you put these stacked pockets, when you kind of bulk them out, you can't really fit anything in the pocket in front of it. I did notice that. So I did have this in one of those stacked pockets, but I couldn't fit anything in the stacked pocket in front of it. So I just kind of put it in the middle. So that's the same thing that I'll do over here is just put this bobsled in the middle. Then also, oh, that's actually all I have. So that's all I have in the middle part and I will tell you why, because this one also has an area for a water bottle. So I put a chuggy in there, the 18 and a half ounce chuggy. I put it in there because I know people do carry the chuggies a lot. So I wanted to see if it's gonna fit in both of them and how nicely it was going to fit. So I wanna show you when I take that out, this does have, see this is not wanting to stand up even though it has stuff in it. It does have the water bottle area, but it is not even lined at all. So it doesn't have a plastic lining it also doesn't have an insulated lining. It is just the fabric and that's it. But the chuggy fit in there and so I am going to transfer it over here to this water bottle area here and see if it will fit over here. And yes, it will be able to zip over top of that one. So something that I wanted to also tell you about the cable car. So you can kind of see the side of this cable car. It has this slim profile side and then you can see the side of the charter looks a little bit wider. So you're gonna be able to fit more things in the middle part of the charter and still be able to utilize your inside organization as opposed to the cable car. If you have all of that internal organization, you can't fit a lot of stuff in the middle because it's got that slim profile. So if you're not using this water bottle pocket, you can just push that back and that doesn't take up any room on the middle. So again, this is one where it's pretty deep when you look in and this is a very dark lining. So it is kind of hard to see the things at the bottom. So I'm surprised because she's always talked about having lining that's light colored so you can see everything. So this is dark and you can't see a lot that's down there. Let me just go ahead and empty out all the pockets that I have here so I can show you the internal organization that's in here. So I do have another pair of sunglasses and I'm going to transfer these over to that stacked pocket that has the felt lining on there. And it's actually behind the water bottle. So it is not being as protected as I would think. So I put it in this stacked pocket right here, which is behind the water bottle. So it could actually still crush those. So let me see if I can move this wallet over here. The wallet won't fit. So the wallet won't fit in that felt pocket with the water bottle there too. So I'm gonna have to keep that one over there and just hope that your glasses don't get scratched or anything like that. 
So where I had the wallet in that felt lined area over here, it would not fit over here with a water bottle. So it's great to have this internal water bottle, but it takes up a lot of your middle area and it's right there beside that one felt pocket. So it's kind of close to it. So this is not standing up really well on its own. Okay. So then I also have two pins over here that I'm just going to transfer over here to the pin slots that are in here on that second pocket. I just have some things in that clear view pocket. So let me go ahead and show you this front. The front of the cable car has that clear view pocket, the zipper pocket, and I just have some random makeup and I think a face moisturizer in there. So yeah, so I emptied out this clear view pocket area and I'm just gonna try to put it over here in this clear view pocket. Again, I'm not sure I'm gonna really like this clear view pocket being this far down on the charter. I like the shape of the charter and the look of it, but I'm not sure if I like this internal organization too much in the charter. Okay, so let me just show you this. So when you look down in this bag, the clear view pocket is all the way down here. So I can't see what I have in the clear view pocket if I have all of that stuff that's on the inside. So that's just something to keep in mind. And then I still have the jib that I need to put in here. So that fits on the top of that. Okay, so I've emptied out everything in the cable car. So the cable car is completely empty and I've put all of it over here to the charter. Now let me show you a side view. You see how well that is packed up. Let me see if it's going to zip with everything that we have on there. Yes, it does zip. So, everything from the cable car will fit in the charter except the iPad. The iPad would not fit, but everything else would. And this is how the charter looks completely packed up. So, you can see I did have an envelope that had some hand sanitizer. You can kind of see it poking out. And a notebook in the back. And then the front is where I would put my cell phone if I wasn't filming with it. So this is really nice when it's packed up. It looks really good. Let me put these to the back. I will probably carry it with the tote handles more so than crossbody because this would irritate me being standing up right beside me if I had a crossbody. So I would have to take these off if I was going to wear it crossbody. I would carry it more likely this way than as a crossbody. So here is the charter all packed up. And guys, it does not want to stand up very well. Even though it has these feet, which kind of help it with the structure. I don't know if it's the water bottle in here throwing it off, but it doesn't really want to stand up. Here's another thing I wanted to point out about the charter. It does not have, I call them exposed zippers, but it's just, it doesn't go all the way to this side. So they do kind of hang out or you can tuck them in here, but it does have that little opening on this side where the zipper is. Now your rings for your crossbody strap are kind of hidden in here. They're a little bit smaller than the rings for the cable car, which I kind of like that because if I'm not using the crossbody strap, then you don't even see those rings there and they're not on the outside. They're kind of hidden. So if you're just carrying it with these straps, it gives it a sleeker look. So I kind of do like that, but that is one thing I wanted to point out for that. And your ring on the out is on the outside for the cable car. Now, another thing about the cable car is it has that same kind of zipper. It is also one that can pull out. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom. So you do have that little bit of area where you can see, I'm not sure what you exactly call these kind of zippers. I call them exposed. I don't know if that's the right word for them or not. So let's go ahead and see the inside of this cable car. So in the back of the cable car, you have some stacked pockets over here. So you have this felt line stacked pocket and then you have a slightly padded one underneath it. And in between those two pockets is where you have your two pin holders. So I took those out and transferred those into that one. And then beside it, you have a little privacy zipper area where um, it's about the same width as your other pockets. So your felt line pocket and your padded pocket is the same width as this privacy zipper area beside it. And then that side right here is where you have your water bottle. So if it's not being used, you can push this to the side. It is not lined in any way. And then in the front, you have the clear view pocket area. It goes about two thirds of the way down. It's a little bit higher up than the charter is. So you can still kind of see the things that are on the inside of that. But as you can see, the side view, like I showed you, this is a little bit of a slimmer profile than this one is. So this one doesn't open as well as this one does. So I can show you how this opens all the way up. It doesn't open as wide as the charter does. These are very comparable bags. You can see the size of these bags. This one's a little bit taller on the cable car. The charter's a little bit shorter. The charter is a little bit narrow than the cable car, but these fit almost exactly the same amount of stuff, except for that iPad. I was able to fit it in that back pocket. So now that I've shown you all of the features and shown you how things fit in one compared to the other, let's go ahead and show you how they were on the body.
Okay guys, this is the charter as a crossbody bag. And so I just wanna mention this. I did show you earlier that these handles can be fully removed. But if you wanna keep these handles on as you're wearing it as a crossbody, they don't lay down. They do stand straight up and they can get in your way. But I do have this adjusted how I like it as a crossbody and you can see the adjustments right here. So again, you have this much more room that you can adjust this for even a longer style if you like it a little bit longer or if you're a little bit taller than me i am five five for reference so this is the first way that you can carry it as a crossbody bag and then i'm just going to adjust it as short as this strap will get so this is really nice because it has that great one and a half inch strap i've gotten to the point where i don't think i even like the one inch straps anymore because these just fit so much better and they are just better about evening out the weight that you have in your bag. So here it is, if you wanna carry it as a shoulder style bag, as short as this strap can adjust. And I do like the way that this looks as well. And I'm moving and it's not falling off. So you can see that it does stay on there pretty good. So here's a side view of how it looks as a shoulder bag. And then of course you can carry it by the tote straps if you want to, or you can put it at the crook of your arm. It also looks really nice like that. So next up you guys is the cable car. I love this. I carry it so much. I think it's a classy looking bag. I love how much it can hold. This is just such a great bag. I carry it mostly as a shoulder bag. So I do use the vegan leather strap with it mostly. So you can see a front view and a side view of how the cable car looks with your short vegan leather strap. And then I'll also show it to you as the crossbody with the printed strap. So here is the cable car as a crossbody. I actually might even wear this a little bit higher up. But like I said, I mostly carry it as a shoulder bag, but here's how it would look crossbody. So the crossbody strap is that printed strap that's the same as the lining that's on the inside, one and a half inch strap. So here's my adjustment right here at my shoulder. So you've got quite a bit more length that you can adjust this even longer. And then I'll also show it to you as a shoulder bag if you didn't wanna use the vegan leather because you wanted a little bit more length on the shoulder style. This is as short as it adjusts. So here it is as a shoulder bag. Um, it does slide off a little bit easy. So you can see as I'm, it's, it's really hard to keep on my top, so I won't be carrying it that way. Like I say, the vegan leather seems to stay a little bit better on my shoulder. So if you do like to carry it as a shoulder bag with the printed strap, then it does slide off a little bit easier. So now you've seen how each of these wear on the body and the different ways that you can wear each of these. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful if you're deciding between these two bags. I hope to see you in my next video and until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.